We had some chicken shit billionaires. Yep, I am bringing forth a new, a new thing on my channel. That's mainly going to be titled Chicken Shit Billionaires and Chicken Shit Millionaires. Who are so out of touch with how things work in the middle and the low class that they, that they will push forth some policies that think are benefiting the middle or, middle or low class because these so called because these people in high class that that push that push a lot of policies that purposely hurts us they they don't fully realize like what exactly they are supporting or what they're pushing because in these times where there is a emphasis on being soft on crime to try to impede a certain community which is not what they're doing at all. Like, you literally have some people in New York City and California where there are no uh, people, criminals don't have to worry about po uh, paying for bail, that they, could, that they can commit a heinous crime like murder, sex, you know, rape, sexually assaulting somebody. And they want, and they they won't have to worry about getting charged because there are a lot because there are uh, district attorneys out here that are so damn soft on people are, are committing these type of heinous crimes. But they will also, you know, put people in jail f for a long time for a, a for a certain uh, drug uh, drug charge. And there are people in the one percent, main, mainstream and all. Whether it be C whether it be CNN, it was MBC, MSNBC, the, the those uh, cackling uh, chickens on the View, among, among a, b a bunch of other other uh, pro pro Democrat, uh, yeah pro yeah pro liberal, you know platforms on it, yeah channels on this platform, whether it be YouTube, um, or Odyssey, even. There are some people out there. That live in the in the high class one percent that makes over that makes over over five hundred thousand dollars a year. That wants to push soft on crime policies, regardless if it's hurting the same community the same communities that they say they, they want to help. Prime example for a uh, a chicken shit chicken shit billionaire. Everybody's favorite George Soros, along along with Bill Gates. And among some other uh, big, uh, millionaires, billionaires that I'm getting, pretty much the, the, the only one that I'm actually I'm, I'm actually for is Elon Musk because he, because even though he's the richest person in the world, he's saying like, yo, we need we need you know better policies for crime, and we need sufficient energy for people in the middle and low class who can't afford green energy, who can't afford green energy because green energy is expensive, it's expensive. So, back to George Soros. George Soros, it, like there are like the places I, I name, like from New York and California, who who has, they have no no bail bonds, and pe people people commit heinous crimes. They, they 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 can get out and they get out in the next couple of hours, and commit the same crimes, because uh, these district attorneys, who want to play, you know, softball with these people, hurting they hurting their own people that. That that got them in there in the first place. You got Eric Adams being being soft a crime, uh, freaking. There's uh, new, uh, news earlier that some people are taking taking matters in, into their own hands because police ain't doing their job. Which in this economy, well, not I'm sorry, in this time where the police are being called unreasonable and all that stuff for some. Just a, some justified arrests or, or, or some justified shootings. You got people online saying like, "Yo, just disband the police, De uh, get, get rid of the police, defund the police," which is, which is still a dumb ass, which is still a dumb ass talking point. Defund the police and give money into the to like mental case, like to cases where people are mentally insane. It's the thing. How you gonna you going you, you gonna send a, a therapist to a person to a person with a gun? Yeah, I don't see that being very successful. But like I said, yeah, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some 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 uh I'm gonna show you this article about what George Zoro says about 
his take on soft on being soft on crime. From this is from the New York Post. George Soros vows he won't stop backing woke DAs despite urban crime spikes. Left wing billionaire George Soros insisted money that soft on crime district attorney sees back to the tune of millions of dollars are making the justice system more effective and just and warned that I have no intention of stopping his support for them. The Hungarian born Soros, 91 argue in, in, in a Wall Street Journal op ed, published Sunday that the agenda pushed by top prosecutors like Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg was both popular and effective. This agenda includes prioritizing the, the resources of the criminal justice system to protect people against violent crime. It urges that we treat drug addiction as, as a disease, you know, which it is a disease, not a crime. And it seeks to end the criminalization of poverty and mental illness, he wrote. Later, adding, the goal is not to fund the police, but restoring trust between the police and between the police and the policed. A partnership that fosters the solvent of crimes. It just goes to show this guy, he he lives in a multi-million dollar place, a multi-million dollar environment. Where there are gates, and they, and he most likely most likely has private security. Middle class and low class people don't have that luxury. This is what you know, out of touch individuals like George Soros is saying. Uh, Soros published the op-ed among amid a backlash against LA against uh, LAX district attorneys that led San Francisco voters to recall DA. Chelsea Barden over spark, spikes in Charlotte, the open air drug dealing, and broad daylight assaults, often against Asian Americans. Down the coast in Los Angeles, another recall effort is targeting DA George Gascon, who got nearly $3 million in campaign funds from Soros. Close to home, Bragg, whose campaign received $1 million from Soros via the Color of Change Political Action Committee, has come under fire for allowing habitable crim uh, criminals out of jail while prosecuting. Ordinary New Yorkers for defend themselves. Yeah, again, this is how out of, out of touch they are. They see, this is how they know, you know, like they don't actually do their thorough research when it, when it comes to certain certain uh, things. These soft on crime DAs, like, regardless of about how, how, how you feel about them, Ron DeSantis just got, of, just got rid of uh, the, the Florida's district attorney for being soft on crimes and not actually doing doing his job well and you know laying people back on the street right the sentence is like yo you ain't about to make florida just like new york city and california with with, with, with these soft on crime policies now i'm not now nah, his thing i'm not an advocate for you know police brutalizing people i'm just saying if you if you're gonna be one of the people that's for senate that's for putting people not putting people in jail over a heinous crime because you think it's going to help out certain communities, mainly black communities, because because apparently you because apparently uh you think black community uh black communities make all these heinous crimes when it's whether it be light white Latino, uh, uh me me Mexican Hispanic anything like that, they say they do this because to help out disenfranchised black communities, but it's actually, it's actually damaging disenfranchised black communities because when people in those communities they do need the police they do need help they know that the police takes like two hours to get there because who wants to, who wants to be a police officer in, in, in these times where everything is recorded and people would just say anything about what's going on with the with with with, with a interaction with, with a police officer and a, a a certain person and they they can get the two cents they don't they don't even know what the hell's going on you had so I, I, there was some videos out there where some, where some people was trying to uh, was attacking police, trying to get the police off this certain guy. I think, I think he was, I think he was, he was black. And that dude, and that dude, uh, ended up beating a, co a, co a couple of people just a, a couple of minutes ago. And you had people jump in and say like, "Hey man, fuck, hey man, fuck, fuck, the, fuck the police and all that stuff." They didn't even know what was going on. Just go to show that instigators are not a good thing. You. You don't know what's going on. Stay out of it. But let's keep on going. Uh, uh, in this op-ed, so is blame increases in crime acts across the nation on a distributing rise in mental illness among young people due to the isolation imposed by COVID lockdowns, a pullback in policing in the wake of public criminal justice reform protests, and increases in, in gun trafficking. Many of the same people who call for a mon who more punitive criminal justice policies are su also support 
Lusa Gun Laws, he added. The Capital Resource Center reported in January of this year that Soros has given more than 29 million of left-wing district att uh, attorney candidates to through a network of political action committees. Other incumbents who have benefited from the lodges include Larry Krasner in Philadelphia, Kim Fox in Cook County uh, 3, Kim Gardner in St. Louis. And, and again, St. Louis is, is already a shithole. And, that, and that's my city that I was born in. And Kim Ock is in uh, Harris County, Texas. Google it. Crime and George Zorlos. A man holds a sign reading Google the crime so during the wake of for NYPD officer Wilbur Moore, who was killed in the line of duty in February. Okay, the idea that we need that we need to choose between justice and safety is false. The, they reinforce each other. If people trust the justice system, it will work. If, if the justice system, if the system works, public safety will improve. So as wrote, instead of invest, investing billions of dollars in keeping, keeping people locked up in, in prisons and jails, he argued, we need to invest more in preventing crime with strategies that work. Deploying mental health professionals in crisis situations, like you know, people with a gun, they want they want to send, again, they want to send a therapist to a gun party. Come on, investing in youth job programs, which he could be doing with his money, and creating opportunities for education behind bars, again, which he could be doing with his money. The, this reduces the likelihood that those prisoners will commit new crimes at the release. His Okay, here's the thing, George Soros. And, uh, and also to the out of touch millionaires and billionaires. You're not helping the situation. You are not helping the situation. You're actually making it just, just as worse. These soft on crime policies, they have never worked. Even during even during the uh the you know, back in, in the seventies, eighties and nineties when you know, there was heinous crimes going on, and, and, and the, the police department wasn't as big as it is now. They was, it was, it was still looking pretty bad. But now, you, you guys are, advoc are advocates for committing crimes because you want to be, you want to do this whole soft on, soft on crime. I was watching, I was watching Tim Pool earlier, apparently there was this dude in New York City that did, committed a heinous crimes. I think, I think, I think he, I think he murdered, he beat beat somebody to death or he, mur or he murdered somebody the dude got arrested went to the judge and the dude straight laughed saying like hey man i ain't gonna i ain't gonna be here I i'll just be right out in, in a couple of hours that's what that's what that's the policies you want you want you want to promote again all the all these politicians and all and all these millions and billionaires that want that, that want to play softball with the uh softball with the middle and low class even though that because there are some people who in in these two classes that need that need to be put in jail. Same thing with the high class. These people are full blown chicken shit. They should stay. They live in gated communities, and they have and they most likely have proper security around them, like AOC, uh, freaking uh, that one that one black chick from St. Louis that that's in Congress. I forgot I forgot her name. I honestly don't care for her. She's she's a menace to St. Louis. She needs to get the hell out of St. Louis. Why that? Like why that? Like out of all places, St. Louis, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. Top five states for mur for murder. Why would you play softball with them? Why would you Why would you play softball with people in that city alone? That's it's actually a more worse than Chicago. But you know, St. Louis do doesn't get the the uh, media attention like Chicago does because you know Chicago is 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 this more popular place for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. But guys, these people are so out of touch with what, go, what goes on in the, in the middle of low class. Like they, they they see a freaking social media post and think, "Hey, that's really all, that's really all it is to it." No, it's not. They, these guys are just are just pinpointing one side of the story, just one side, and boom, they 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 uh they campaign it for, for for all these people instead. Of, you know, you know actual, actual things that, that that could help, like like mental illness and and uh, trying to trying to help out with drug with uh. Uh, addictions, whether it be alcoholism or drug addiction or anything like that, they rather back some people that knows they ain't gonna do jack. Are just are just more corrupt uh, mofo's in Congress. All all chicken shit as well. Same thing with mayors, district attorneys, all chicken shit. They send the money to them instead of actually trying to do something about it or cre or creating their own company. But. I just want to pay you here, guys. If you guys like what I'm saying, like I'm subscribed, share the video, hit the notification bell. I will see y'all next one.
Peace.